All right, so seven four day two. <laughs> Yesterday we concentrated on the rhombus. We looked at the properties of the rhombus. Today we are looking at rectangles and squares. Okay, so specifically one theorem that we have about rectangles. So we're gonna look at that. And then we'll look at the types of problems that we're gonna see. So we've done a lot with diagonals so far. We have a diagonal theorem about parallelograms. We got a diagonal theorem about rhombuses. Now we have one on rectangles. Uh, so the key here is going to be to try to keep them straight. Keep them, you know, know which one uh, applies to which shape. So a rectangle diagonal theorem tells us that it's a rectangle if and only if the diagonals are congruent. Okay, so the diagonals themselves are congruent. Now we know in a parallelogram. That the diagonals bisect each other. So we know already that this and this should be congruent, this and this should be congruent. What this theorem is telling us for rectangle diagonal theorem is that the entire diagonals are congruent to each other. So AC and BD are congruent. And it's not talking about the small halves. We know the halves are congruent, but now it's talking about the entire thing is congruent to the other entire thing. And that's what our rectangle diagonal theorem is telling us. So that is something new, right? We haven't talked about rectangles and diagonals yet. So let's apply it. Look at this one. They tell us it's a rectangle, so we know that. And then they give us a couple lengths. Why don't you go ahead and solve that one, please? Can I talk to somebody about it? See what they got? I got 39. All on my way. She just goes. Yeah, I got it in my head. I can't. Really? Man, I didn't even use my calculator. Yeah, I got it. I got it. How did you know? How did you know? Here we go. Here we go. Regina, what do we end up getting here? 39. 39. So, they give us the two lengths of the diagonals. We know that a rectangle diagonals are congruent, set them equal to each other, solve for x. Just make sure you remember what they're asking for. They're not asking for x here, they're asking for the lengths. So we gotta plug it back in. There we go, 39. All right, other one that we wanna look at. So here's our our, our building apparatus that we're, we're doing here. We're trying to build a window, okay? A frame for a window. And it tells us, because you can't see it, it says you're building a frame for a window. The window will be installed in the opening shown in the diagram. Okay, so it's gonna be put in that opening. The opening must be a rectangle. Given the measurements in the diagram, can we assume that this is a rectangle? Talk to person next to you. Can we assume that this is a rectangle? Why or why not? Yes. Yeah. 
So you're saying we cannot, right? Yeah, we can't. We cannot. Okay. And we want to take the other side. Good choice. Yeah, we cannot assume this. Okay. We cannot assume that it's a rectangle because, like Jack said, we know nothing about the angle. Okay. Yes, it looks like they're 90 degree angles. It looks like a rectangle. But you can't say it just based on how it looks. We have no information that proves that this is a rectangle. For all we know, this could be 89 and 91. And you would never be able to tell. Okay? What we do know is that it's a parallelogram. We know it's a parallelogram because of opposite sides converse. But that's it. We don't have any information that tells us that it's a rectangle. Okay? The second part to this question says you measure the diagonals of the opening. The diagonals are 54.8 and 55.3 inches. Is this a rectangle? No. no. If the diagonals are different lengths, it's not a rectangle. Okay? The diagonals have to, the diagonals have to be the same. They have to be equal to each other. But like they, they, be like, they could be like smaller than like 44 inches. Right. We know just by by basis of it being a triangle, that it has to be bigger than that. We can, yeah, we can see if it makes sense that way. Sure. Okay. So if we were to measure the diagonals, that's one way to show that it's a rectangle. Otherwise, we're checking the angles and making sure that they're 90 degrees. Okay. All right. The other type of problem that we're going to see, and this is probably the, the main type of problem from today, it's going to take you the most time. It's going to be in the coordinate plane. And we did something similar to this before the quiz and on the quiz, talking about is this a parallelogram or not? And we proved that either by opposite sides converse, definition, diagonals converse, right? We had a bunch of different ways on the quiz to do that. Now they're telling us that it's a parallelogram. They're telling us that it's a parallelogram with the name, right? Parallelogram ABCD. But now we want to know, is it a rectangle, a rhombus, or a square? So what we're going to do, and there are different ways that you can go about figuring this out. Right? One way to figure out if it's a rectangle would be by definition. Right? Find the slopes of all four sides and see if they are perpendicular to each other. And if the slopes are perpendicular, then you've got a rectangle. One way to find if it's a rhombus or not is to find the distance of all four sides, the length. So distance formula, four times, and see if it's right. And then if it's a rectangle and a rhombus, then it's a square. That's one way that we could do this, right? Okay. If you get distance formula, you only have to do it twice. Yes, because we know it's parallel. Yeah. You're right. Yep. So if you do, as long as it's not the opposite sides, right? If you do one of each side, that would be enough. Yep. So we could do that. The easier way, the easier way, the quicker way is going to be to stick to the diagonal. Okay. It's less calculating. You're still going to have to do distance formula. You're still going to have to find slopes, but it's only twice instead of maybe four times. All right. But as Jack said, Right? We could do that distance formula twice anyway. So using the diagonals, I want you to talk to the person next to you. How can I use the diagonals in this situation to figure out if it's a rectangle or a rhombus? Um, 
tell from diagonals if it's a rectangle or not? What would I have to do in this situation to tell if it's a rectangle or not? How? Diagonal. Yeah, so distance formula of the diagonal, right? And we don't even have to sketch it out. We can if we want, but we don't have to because we know the diagonals are going to be AC and BD. So we can simply do distance formula from A to C and from B to D and see if they're the same. Yeah. If they're not the same, would it be a rhombus then? Not necessarily. Um, I know here it says uh, decide whether it's a rectangle or rhombus or a square. Yeah. It could be a, neither. It could be um, none. Right? Exactly. right. So you got you got to do both the rectangle and the rhombus because just because it's not one doesn't guarantee that it's the other one. How do you tell if it's a rhombus or diagonal? So that's the next question, right? How do we tell from uh, diagonals if it's a rhombus? Or not. You got to think back to yesterday. What was that first theorem from yesterday? Connor? If they're perpendicular. So then find the slopes of AC and BD. And if the slopes are opposite reciprocal, then they're perpendicular. So it's guaranteed to be around us. So you're looking at your diagonals. You're finding slope. You're finding distance. And that's going to tell you whether it's a rectangle, a rhombus. If it's both of them, then it's also a square. Make sure if it is a square, it'll have little check marks or, or boxes you got to fill in to name it. If you're going to say square, you got to say it's a rhombus and a rectangle as well, because it's both of those two. Okay. Yeah. On the test, if you like, gave us a question like that, and it said that there's all of them, you would have to put all three. You'd have to put all three. So now if we were to sketch this out, it's going to be pretty obvious what type of shape it is. Okay? It's going to be pretty obvious that it's not a rectangle. And as Elle said, it looks kind of rhombus -y. <laughs> So, right, we can tell that this is a rhombus. On the test, I still need to see those numbers. Okay? I want to see how you prove that it's a rectangle or a rhombus or not a rectangle or not a rhombus, okay? I want to see the distance. I want to see the slope, just like we did on the quiz, right? Give me those, those numbers. So that's what you're going to want to do on the homework as well, is practice that distance formula, practice your slope, see if they're perpendicular, okay? And really, we can just concentrate on those diagonals. If you want to do it the other way and you want to find the slopes of all four of these, and then you want to find the distances of at least two of them, two consecutive ones, and prove it that way. That's fine as long as you know what you're doing. My suggestion is to do the diagonals. Okay. But you got to know what means what. So it's not enough just to say, yep, they're perpendicular. You got to know that means it's around. Okay. Any questions about this type of question? How many of those are going to be on the homework? On the homework? Um, at least three, I would say. Yeah. Yep. Why are you doing math?